The first state chapter of the All Progressive Congress has warned the state governor, Siminalayu Fubara, against running the state without a duly approved budget by the State House of Assembly. The chairman of the caretaker committee of the party in the state, Tony Okocha, made the call when he visited the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Martins Amehuli, at his official residence in Patakot. Alongside his executive members, we have details in this report. The caretaker committee chairman Tony Okocha, however, alleged that within five months, the state government under the leadership of Siminalai Fubara received the sum of 144.2 billion from the Federal Account Allocation Committee. Okocha noted that funds have not really been transmitted to action in terms of development in the state. He said despite the allocation received between June to November last year by Governor Fubara, the state is yet to see how it has been invested into developmental projects. He warned that the party will not hesitate to punish any of its members found to be involved in the ongoing squandering of the Commonwealth of the people of the state. We frown at the governor's impunity in running river states without a budget. <coughs> However, we remind him that it will amount to gross financial misconduct for him to continue in this dangerous voyage. The Red Rebel Speaker, it is our finding that a whooping sum of 144 billion, 291 million, 667,000, 791 naira, 01 cover, have been received from Federal Education under FAC. This amount quoted here is outside internally generated revenue of the state, which is put at conservatively 10 billion naira every month. Responding, the Speaker of River State House of Assembly, Honorable Martins Amewale, thanked the APC leadership for the visit, saying it will strengthen members of the House. Amewale said the Assembly had recently passed many bills into law, which includes local government autonomy bill. As a legislative arm, you are to oversight the executive, and if you do nothing, you are equally complicit. Six. We are here to convey support for the law recently made by the National Assembly on local government autonomy and the conduct we have and the conduct of the local government elections to be done by the INEC, not SIEC. We will not belabor the matter by delving into the reasons for this law, but emphasize that it is apt auspicious and germane is we strengthen our independence as an arm of government. You are already aware that there has been a constitutional amendment to that effect. And what we have just done is to domesticate the acts of the National Assembly in such a way that it will function to the, for the interest of uh, reverse people. And I'm happy that we now have it as a law. We were surprised that the governor chose to withhold his assets when some other states are already towing the line of the act of the National Assembly. As you speak, there are states where the governor goes to regularly and by assets. They already have financial autonomy. Lagos State has it. 